Good morning, guys. Um, we got home pretty late yesterday, so we didn't even end the vlog. We were all very tired. Um, our cousin got a puncture in her tire. Um, so yeah, we just came home and then we just went to bed. And now we are up because we are going to the mud volcano. Actually, guys, we didn't get to go to the mud volcano, but I will explain why later on in the video. Um, I'm just applying some uh, sunscreen. And I have got some heat rashes. Mum's got heat rash. And I don't remember if I, I don't, I don't think I showed you guys when I got heat rash in Kenya. But mum's is now like 20 times worse because mine was just on the back of my neck, like kind of coming around here. But mum's is what everywhere yeah, coming down my onto neck, under my chin, down, down my chest, chest on your my arms, arms and my legs. like literally, uh, I could even see the red a bit from here. Yeah. yeah. Anybody got a solution? Yes. If anybody yeah. knows what you can do to get rid of it, <laughs> then please let us know. Because that is not cool. I did start getting some again on my neck. But um, it's kind of going. I used emulsifying ointment and hydrocortison. And so it's starting to go down a bit. But it's only on this side. Um, and it didn't spread, thank goodness. But I don't know what's yeah, happening. Just started to put that on, so. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you can see it. Wait, let me flip. I've just cleaned it all up, so... Kind of. Yes, yeah, sort of. Like, it's not. It's very fine. Yeah. Look at all this. You see anything? Yeah. Oh yeah. Look. Yeah. You can kind. Of, yeah. 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 Damn. Yes, yeah, but it's not going to stop me from enjoying myself. I'm still gonna go today. We're going to where we're going. The mm. mud volcano. The mud volcano, and I'm still gonna go to it. Yes. Uh, you know some stupid Italian people. What are they? Yeah. Hi guys. We're at the Pitch Lake in Labrae. Usually, when you come in the wet season there is water on the lake but because we're in dry season um, there is hardly any water there and the ground is a bit soft so I don't know if that is particularly safe um, but it's meant to have really healing qualities um, because the water is sulfur but also because the pitch um, is in this area it means that the road itself is quite bumpy so even though the road is out that way all down there the road is like crazily bumpy yeah um because the the pitch lake is drawing everything to it so even when they fix the lake even when they fix the road it um gets bumpy again yeah so let me tell you about the pitch lake so the pitch lake is one of nature's unique wonders it's located in labre which is in the southwest of trinidad within the saparia regional corporation the lake covers over a hundred acres which is 41 hectares and is estimated to be about 250 feet deep could you imagine? When they have um, when they the lake splash. They used to have a big pot. Oh, oh really? Yeah. Wow. There's right there, there's four oli and female. And 30 speakers. So, so you're going to hear the music. Ah. Uh, so, the water is just like that. So, the water is just like that. They used to have a party with big speakers and everything. So, put the speakers and thing up there and face it so. Oh wow. Oh then. Watch out for all the big big rocks The pitch lake is the largest natural deposit of ashfall in the world. It's estimated to contain about ten million 
ponds of asphalt. Good guys, this is so uneven to walk down, my God. Also, my flipping uh, storage is full on my phone. Um, so I'm gonna have to try and get rid of some videos later on today. But um, yes, let me show you guys what the lake looks like. It's not much of a lake because it's dry. It's dry season. <laughs> so usually you can go and have a, a, a wash in the water but um, I don't know if that's going to be able to in fact let me even tell you what actually happened was we were supposed to go to the mud volcano I don't know if I said that earlier but we were supposed to go to the mud volcano and um, uh, Rianne's car got a puncture yesterday so she had to go and fix that this morning which set us back some time then um, our other cousin was meant to go with his vehicle and his vehicle got a puncture too so then we couldn't go in that car either um and then one of the other cars our uncle's car um was leaking so we were like yeah maybe we're just not supposed to go maybe we're just not supposed to go and so um we decided to come here instead um so yeah let me show you guys the notice here now, if you're not familiar with asphalt, asphalt is a very versatile material and it's used in construction and maintenance of roads, highways, paved services, and so much more. So basically, if you see roads, it's most likely asphalt that comes from Trinidad. It is used in the construction of roads. It's used in resurfacing and repairing existing roads, parking lots and driveways, airport runways, sports surfaces, roofing such as asphalt shingles waterproofing so asphalt based products are used for waterproofing applications such as sealing roofs and foundations to prevent water infiltration pipe coating to protect from corrosion and provide insulation and it's also used in manufacturing adhesives coatings and sealants oh. Oh my it smells like perfume. Amazing, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. yeah. Well, tonight in the video, can I have a smile? <laughs> <laughs> it's actually okay. nice. Oh yeah, it matches your top. It smells lovely. Wow. I wasn't expecting it because of where it's yeah. growing. Yeah. Like yeah. this is where it's growing. <laughs> oh yeah, let me. What? So it is a very, very versatile, durable, and cost-effective material. So basically, you pretty much cannot do anything without asphalt. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, there's steel here. Oh wow. There's steel here. This is totally. Oh, how long ago? Ten years ago. Oh wow. Yeah, last thing I heard my father about I said him I was over. Oh. Not know he died in my house. Oh no. My father still keeps me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't sit down. This yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> but honestly speaking, they have a lot of Anywhere that's shiny. When you see shiny, don't step on it. Oh, oh yeah, it's soft. Oh, why? Super soft. Oh, 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 o
Wow, don't stand, don't stand too long. So apparently and allegedly, the lake was discovered by Walter Riley during his exploration of Trinidad in 1595. His accounts describe how the indigenous people of the area used pitch for corking their boats and for medicinal purposes. So clearly, if his accounts describe indigenous people using the pitch, he didn't discover it. But we move. The lake is often associated with legends and stories believed to be the result of a battle between gods. Over the centuries, the pitch lake has been a vital economic resource for Trinidad. Well, depending on who you talk to about the pitch lake, some would say that certain people benefit from having this amazing pitch, and those certain people tend to not be the locals. Oh, those things there? Yeah. They load it up because tractors come down, they grade the top off here. I'm not here. Oh, they are. Uh, you know, uh, they are throwing all the way Yeah. They are grade out there. Yeah. There are tractors yes, come are. load up. They come and they load it into this bucket. We take it up to those boilers at the top of the hill up there. And yeah. The ramp. You see that ramp? You see that ramp? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm going up there. Yeah. To the top of there, ice boilers up there. I uh, really picture being crispy, uh, 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 right. all the uh, sulfur, iron, or yeah. water comes out from it. And uh, you pure pitch, loaded into barrels. Mm -hmm. Asphalt from this very lake is used in the construction of roads worldwide, like literally all over the world. All over the world. If there are roads, it's most likely that the asphalt came from Trinidad, came from this very spot. Look at it. Oh my god. Wow. Come from where? It's not oil. Wow. And in there, you step certain parts in there. He steps in parts in there oh, because nobody knows there. which part exactly mm. is soft and coming out. You, can't touch that. you step in yeah, parts you can't there, touch faster than quicksand. No, you will get them. Faster yeah. than quicksand. Faster than quicksand because yeah. nobody knows where the, the mouth of this is. Mm. Yeah, that's it. Wow. You can't move. That's what we need. Don't bring it out now. We need it. We need it. Oh, oh yeah yeah where oh, they put the oh, okay yeah no his hand your hand when do we hear anything about you you say so and you have to push it in Don't go any closer. You don't want to go in it. Right in there. You're smelling it now. How are we going to eat? Look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that one. Oh, look at that one. That's sweet. Look at that one. Look at that one. Look at that one. Remember, don't step there. Mm -hmm. And would you believe that it was even used in the construction of the famous Champs Elysees in Paris? <laughs> <laughs> and it also produced a lot of And you want that? Slight. Can you smell anything? It's smelling it. Slight, just slight. Yeah, I can think I could smell it more in the air than than yeah. Yeah. Really? Is the water warm or it gets warm? And to this very day, Asheville is still very significant. 
The Pitch Lake has also attracted scientists and researchers due to its very unique properties. Studies have been conducted to understand its formation and its role in the Earth's geology. So what do you use sulfur for? That's for skin. Like water. Skin disease. Uh, yeah. The lake's ecosystem, which includes unique microorganisms, has also been of interest to biologists. So the guy that was taking us on a tour around this area was actually saying that the water has very healing properties, very, very healing properties, that it can cure everything but death, basically. However, you do not want to ingest it. If you ingest it, apparently it has a very detoxing effect on the body and it will run your belly. <laughs> Um, but putting it on the skin, bathing in it and things like that, it's meant to be very, very healthy. So it's no surprise that scientists would like to study it. We can it. have a bath here. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So basically, with the amount of pitch or asphalt that is used globally trinidad really should be in the same position as dubai but it's not and so do with that what you will <laughs> also just to let you know it is also said that this place has now been leased to the chinese for the next hundred years so again do with that what you will mm. it's nice it's all right let me eat it yeah just buy it but yeah, this is pretty much the end of the tour. And then as we were walking back out, we found these trees that them lot were saying were like cherries or is it damson? Something like that. I can't really remember. But if you know, then put that down in the comments. Yeah. How's it taste? Yeah, you can sour. Sour. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a bit it's a mixture of sweet and sour, isn't it? <laughs> Hi guys! <laughs> Hi, so my hair's like this because I actually washed it after we went to the beach and I didn't get any footage of the beach because my, uh, what's that thing? my memory was full and so I stopped, well we went to the pitch lake um, and then we went to the beach after and by the time... <laughs> That is such a big tanker to be going on so fast as well. on these small country village roads. I just don't understand it. But anyway, so um, yeah, so we went to the pitch lake and by the time I finished filming there, um, I had no more memory. And so then I started to film my mom's phone and phone and then her phone ran out of memory. And then um, Kelly left by the time we went to the beach. And so I had no phone, so I couldn't film anything. I don't even know the name of the beach that we went to. Um, carrot, but, no. Carrot. Wasn't it an S1? Station. Station Beach. I think that was Station Beach. And then we're. But I thought it was the same thing. I think Carrot Beach or whatever it is is a bit oh, further down. Yeah, I think that's a bit further. Or oh, around. Anyway, so um, our cousin has invited us to go to the club mm -mm. tonight. They're forcing me. To go to the club. No, not forcing. Mm -hmm. We've been invited to go to the club. And <laughs> so <laughs> we're not clubbers. We're not clubbers. <laughs> so Kelly is trying to get me to go by myself. But I'm saying, well, her and some should I'm trying some. To stop. <laughs> Her and Sam no. should just come along. No. It's a once in a lifetime thing. We don't go clubbing. It's we're not really our thing. Old, I'm but so we're, tired. In a, we're in a different country. We're going with our cousin and her friends. So why not just go? You know, why not just go see what it's like? Okay. And then we come home and go to sleep. But she's there. Don't like, my hand. <laughs> <laughs> but she's there talking about she don't want to go. No, I'm at home cutting some watermelon. I was thinking, what am I seeing in the back there? But it's, I think it's just, um, them lot. Rihanna. Who is that? Rihanna. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I was like, what the hell is going on out there? That is scary. It is really, isn't it? Just through the crack of the it curtain. Really is. Um, but yeah, I'm at home, happy, cutting some watermelon, you know. Tell her she must go to the club. We're going to shake her ass at the club. Not the ass at the club. <laughs> We're going to shake her ass at the club. I'm not shaking no ass at the club. Yeah. I'm sending the call. 
I'll wait for you in there. Is that okay? No! What? <laughs> just come in there and just do a little... <laughs> and there we go. You know that we zip. My God! Please, it's just a little, little thing. And the thing is, I'm not even a big clubber. In fact, I'm yes, not a clubber she is. at all. You guys saw her in Kenya <laughs> shaking a leg. No, but that was literally a little dance competition on a compound. I don't go to the clubs. I don't drink, really. Um, so, like, I, I'm, I'm just going because, you know, one, content. <laughs> and two, just to see what it's like, you know? Just to see what it's like. We can't believe this. <laughs> <laughs> it's too hot to go to the club. But maybe it might be air cond, I wonder. Ah! You've got a fucking nice throne thing, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I don't have the right shoes. Oh, look, you got some shoes! <laughs> she literally was like, oh, I don't have the right shoes. I found two pairs of shoes that she can wear, right? She's like, oh, I don't have clothes. I can't go. She's literally got a dress on. She's literally got a dress on. And she bought dresses. My what dress is basically like a nightgown. That is not what's the difference? Attire. What's the difference between that and a bodycon? It I literally looks like a body cord. It's a body cord. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Look, I bet if you go into Sam's room right now, he's sleeping. Let's have a look. Go on then. Let's go, guys. <laughs> um, I think Sam left. I think, I think he's gone to the club already. What the hell? Sam's gone to the club already, or he's pre gaming somewhere because he's not in the room. He's literally That's not in the fair. room. It's just Eli. I he was in there. Well, the I don't know where he is because he's in the Eli's room too. <laughs> I can't come. So I need to clean it. Really? Yeah. I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, guys. I'm tired though. That's the thing. I don't I don't even really care for clubbing. Like I've never been a clubber. I don't really like the oh, environment. Oh yeah, reg yesterday was Wasa. What did she yeah, call maybe. it? Wasi. Something like Wasi. Something like you um, wine, wine and wine and shake. <laughs> I don't know, wine and shake and get down. But today's just a reggae night, so I mean, I wish it was a dance one night, but that was probably yesterday. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't mind dancing. I like dancing, but I just don't like when people think that because you're in the club that they have a right to your body. That's what I don't like, you know? But I'm happy to go and shake a leg. Go shake your legs. No. I'm not even hip anymore. I don't even know the terms. Go shake your legs. <laughs> well, well. We shall see, guys. We shall. The Kelly girls. Oh, I thought you meant we shall see what the club is saying. You have to. I can't go there by myself. <laughs> standing there, you couldn't see me. I was literally just standing there and you lot were chatting like I was in the room. <laughs> no, you weren't. Hey, yo. Do you know where you fucked up? You said you <laughs> lot. Hey, yeah. Hey, no, no, no. Because you know what, yeah? Shell's face, yeah? It made it hard to keep a straight face. <laughs> I was like, you lot think you're crazy. <laughs> Wait, what? Was it the show that came in? Yeah. Wow, that would have been really scary. But yes. Oh, oh, you're ironing your clothes. Now, not to go tonight, but oh. because each morning I want to iron clothes sometimes, and then and then it's just too late. So I just thought, yeah, I'll iron the top for tomorrow. Yeah, tonight. but at least you can wear it tonight, isn't it? Because it's already ironed. I can't believe them apples are lasting so long in the heat. It's true, though. 
I'm really surprised. Hello? Mom just no, came in from clubbing. No, I saw you. Oh. You just come in from clubbing? Oh, yes. He just yeah. came in for the club. <laughs> Hi, guys. We're ready. Uh -huh. She's making me come. I'm making myself go. <laughs> I'm actually yeah, making myself go. Stepping out with the ladies. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully we'll be home in a couple hours. Hey. I'd like to go to the Clifton Hill bar thing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah, you can yeah, just yeah, go yeah, yeah, and yeah. like sit, sit down, down and out. yeah, get a nice fruit punch or something. Shake a leg. I hope there's places to like just sit down. Yeah. Sit down. Yeah. You know what? There will be bar stalls, I suppose, you could Why did you go over there? It looks very dark. Oh, I'm not doing no, that I light, I think it's light. shining uh, on your hair. This side, so yeah. the will be dark now. Yeah, yeah, and also the, I sprayed the spray more there, there. and so I was coughing and choking there. Yeah. You can't take your own bottle of water to the cooler, can you? I don't well, think so. Be... I don't know. Uh, okay, well. It should be a nice night. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, not, don't say not, that. You better not down up your ankles or anything, please. Well, I'm sorry. Oh, the copyright. <laughs> We were heading home and our cousin literally, literally flew down the highway. When I say flew, I mean flew. <laughs> Me and Kelly was panicking. Kelly was calling on Jesus Christ. <laughs> it was literally out of this world. But yeah, they, they are completely used to this and they have a lot of practice. So they are like pros. Um, Kelly and I, we do not do past 40 um, miles an hour in the UK, so this is very new to us. <laughs> but yeah, she got us home safely, so we're all good. So anyway, thank you for watching this video. Remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. Subscribing is completely free. Just click the button that says subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Good morning guys, it is 3.25am